Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to display Fibonacci series using for loop. So first of all, we have to understand what is Fibonacci series. So if you go to the Google and if you search what is Fibonacci, it will show like Fibonacci series is a series where the next term is the sum of the previous two terms. So that means the first two terms will be started from 0 then 1. So let's start. If anyone will be asked, okay, what will be the Fibonacci series of number till 6 term? That means we have to go till 6 term. So how we can, first of all, we have to understand how it is working. So they are saying like it will start from the 0, then 1. Then the next term is the combination like sum of this first and second. So 0 plus 1, what it will happen? 1. Then 1 plus 1, 2. Then 2 plus 1, 3, 3, 2, 5. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth term. This is the sixth term. So next term will be like 5, 3, 8, 5, 8, 13 and it will be keep going like that. So this is called Fibonacci series in the mathematics term. How we will understand, okay, how we are going to write our program so our program will understand okay we need to increase in this sequence so what we can do the first term right so first term we can say like it is a a okay a will be start from 0 next term I can say B equal to 1 now the next term like combination of these two so we can say like it is a called sum so sum means a plus b so this thing is like our base now we need to understand how we have to go till six term so first of all we have to always print our a value so here we can say a value so what is a value here zero now what is sum sum means a plus b so a is 0 b is 1 so we can say currently it is holding one value so now next what will be happen we are going to say like okay if you see here right this is the first term this is the next term okay and this combination is called sum so now i can say like a is our b because we are going like from this, 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 this. So always whatever holding A like this term in future it is going to hold this one. Then it is holding this one. So that's why I refer A equal to B. Now I can say like B. B is what? B is a combination of previous digit. You can see 0 plus 1 is 1. Next time is 1. So I can say like B is equal to sum. So here a equal to b, b on that time b value is 1 and now sum, sum is what a plus b, correct? That means the value was 1. So at first term the value is 0, correct? You can see. So next term what will be happen when it is second term, then third term, then fourth term, then fifth term, then sixth term. So now what will be the value of a so a means 1 correct now what will be the value of sum sum means we have to combine a and b value so a value is 1 b value is 1 so we can say like 1 plus 1 equal to 2 now we can say here a is equal to b correct so b value is 1 so we can say now a is holding b value that means 1 only so now what will be the value of b b is always sum sum of like a plus b so just combine 1 plus 1 that is called sum 2 so now b is 2 value correct so when it is go for third term on that time the a a is holding the value is 1 so 1 now a plus b so a value is 1 and b value is True. correct so we can say now the sum is 3 so now you can say what will be the latest value of a a means b so what was the old value of b 
तो बी ओल्ड वैल्यू इज टू नाउ वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ बी बी मीन्स सम सम इज द वैल्यू इज थ्री सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड सी हाउ इट इज गोइंग लाइक सो ऑलवेज ए मीन्स इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट पोजिशन देन सम सम मीन्स फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर एंड सेकेंड कैरेक्टर सो ऑन दैट टाइम इट वॉज जीरो प्लस वन सो इट्स बिकेम वन एंड आफ्टर दैट द ए वैल्यू विल ऑलवेज होल्ड वॉट एवर द वैल्यू बी इज होल्डिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट बी इज होल्डिंग वॉट एवर द लेटेस्ट सम सो डैट सो आई एम कीप इंक्रीजिंग लाइक दैट सो वेन इट इज गो फॉर फोर्थ टर्म ऑन दैट टाइम वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ ए ए मीन्स लाइक दस जस्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द ओल्ड वैल्यू सो ओल्ड वैल्यू इज ट्रू सो टू एंड बी वैल्यू इज थ्री सम मीन्स ए प्लस बी सो इट विल बिकेम द फाइव नाउ ए विल होल्ड द बी वैल्यू so that means 3 and sum is fifth so you can see when the fourth term is over the value of a is 2 you can see now 0 1 1 2 correct so 0 1 1 2 now what will be happen once the fifth term will be go so that means see here whatever i'm saying g like first term second term till six that means it is a loop we have to use a for loop right so for loop will be starting from the first then it will go second then third then fourth then fifth then sixth so that's why i am representing here so you can easily understand when i am going to write in the java side so now the, when the fifth term will be happen on that time what is the value of a a is 3 so what is the value of sum of a and b so sum of a and b that means 3 and 5 so it will became 8 now a is having the old value of b so that means now 5 so b is equal to sum sum is 8 correct now when the sixth term started on that time what is the value of a a means old value you can see here 5 now 5 and 8 it became 13 now it will hold the old value of b that means it will come to this side it and this sum will come here correct so you can understand 0 1 1 2 3 5 0 1 1 2 3 so it is always combination of first and second digit you can see 0 and 1 it's become 1 correct 1 1 it's become 2 2 1 it's become 3 so i hope you understand the concept right so if you again try to write from your end then you will get more clear so now let's go to the java side so we can say like int total term means like till which term we are going to find the fibonacci series so i will give input same 6 and i can say int a equal to 0 int b equal to One, correct. So the first value is zero. The next term is one. Now what we can do? Just write a for loop. It will start from what? One, correct. And it will go till what? Total term. So we can say like less than equal to total term. And it is as a increment order, correct? So for now we have to print the i value like whether we can see it is going till sixth term or not so just print i now run this program you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that means it is going till sixth term now we have to find the fibonacci series so we have to use our logic whatever we just discuss here Correct. You can see whatever discuss here. Same thing. We just need to write it here. So first of all, we have to print the a value. Don't use ln. Otherwise, it will print in the next line. So what I will do? Just use print. We can say here the value of a. Correct. Now give some space and use comma. So it will print. Now, if we run this program, what will be happen? You can see zero, 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 zero. Something is printing, correct? But we have to print like 
0, 1, 2, 3, 5 like that. So how you can do? Now we have to use this sum. So sum means a plus b. So just use int sum that means a plus b. Now what will be happen? a will always hold the value of b. You can see this section correct. Now b will hold the value of sum. Now save it and run this program. You can see right we are getting output 0 1 1 2 3 5. So if you have still doubt what you can do I will suggest you just print some statement like this. Give like sum sum here right similarly go for a and b and try to comment this line so you will get more idea otherwise it will print the output give here a column then it will print the value of a whatever you are going to get now b it will print the value of b now run this program just see here right sum is 1 a is 1 b is 1 you can see 1 1 1 next time sum is 2 a is 1 2 correct you can see 2 1 2 next time sum is 3 then 2 then 3 you can see here 3 2 3 then 5 3 5 5 3 5 right so similarly whatever I explain we are just doing same thing correct so just remove this one now run this one so you will get your output so if you are going to change like 15 then what will be happening you can see right 0 1 1 2 3 and it is going till 3 7 7 so this is a way to get the Fibonacci series